The Penrose Funeral Home, where nearly 200 bodies were found improperly stored, is now being torn down. Denver 7's Veronica Acosta was there for the demolition and spoke with family members of the funeral homeowners that, that were misidentified. Things like this don't happen. They shouldn't happen. Though they have. On Tuesday morning, the EPA started knocking down the physical reminder of where nearly 190 bodies were improperly stored in Penrose. Angry. I'm really angry. Families watched as the building came down, wiping tears as they listened to a ceremony hosted by local officials. And my hope is that will it assist the families in some closure and peace. Though with an urn in her arms and a shirt with a photo of her son, this mom says closure is non-existent. But I appreciate all of your hard work. She's one of the many who got the call her loved one's cremated remains were misidentified, meaning she's unsure of who she's been carrying around since his death four years ago. I also somehow feel that my son's being scraped off the earth and taken to a landfill. A feeling shared by dozens of other families also bearing photos of their loved ones as crews began the demolition. EPA officials say the expectation is for the funeral home to be entirely knocked down by the end of Tuesday, with debris removal starting Wednesday. To me, this is almost ripping it open again because a lot of I feel a lot of our answers are going with this building. Answers even officials are still looking for as 17 bodies remain unidentified. For these families, all they have left is hope in officials and answers to come from the investigation. I don't know what the alternative solution is, and I know this is the best thing that could be happening. In Fremont County, I'm Veronica Acosta, Denver 7. Going in depth, the EPA delayed that demolition of Return to Nature several times. It was originally supposed to be torn down in January. Now, that plan hit several roadblocks like weather delays and scheduling, but the main logistical issue was where to dispose of those demolished materials. Last month, the city of Pueblo denied the EPA's request to use the city's landfill due to concerns about potential side effects, contaminants and more. Now the EPA says materials are now being taken to a site in Otero County in accordance with landfill regulations.